Growing up in Maryville was a wonderful experience for me. I loved country life. We're a really small town of only 300 people, so sport was what we did. Basketball I played because mum did. No junior grades though. When I was nine, I was playing in the B grade with adults. I used to get five minutes at the end of the game if I was lucky. By the time I was 12, I had a growth spurt. I was much taller and I played A grade for the next five years with my mum for Maryville Gold and we won five premierships together. So that was really, really special. A lovely lady called Beth Searle saw me play and she was associated with West Adelaide Bearcats and she went back to the coaches and she said, look, there's this tall skinny girl called Rachel, you need to recruit her. So I did move to Adelaide when I was 17 and then suddenly I was playing at the elite level with West Adelaide Bearcats. I found the first year pretty difficult in Adelaide. I was a bit homesick. I had so much to learn. I was pretty raw. Ted Powell, the West Adelaide coach, he taught me how to do a jump shot. I'd never grown up with offences. Our D was always zoned. So I found it quite overwhelming, but I'm so thankful that I did stick at it. There was three WNBL teams. It was West Adelaide, North Adelaide and Nolunga. And our state league side, which we played every Tuesday night, was also our WNBL team. How lucky was I back then that a raw country kid could go straight into a WNBL program? 1989 was my first year in the Australian team. A dream come true. I wanted to be like Raylene Boyle. I wanted to be a sprinter at the Olympics. So to actually have that dream come about through basketball was an eight-year-old dream come true. Adelaide Lightning was formed in 1993 and that was such amazing times because we felt we were really professional for the first time. We were on contracts, receiving player payments and just really getting a lot more publicity and I guess respect in the community, which was fantastic. But of course, there is always some disappointment in your basketball journey. And for me, that was certainly in 1992 when we didn't qualify for the Barcelona Olympics. So I was 24, I was ready. That shattered a lot of us when that didn't transpire. For me, the Atlanta Olympics was so incredibly magic and special because I was 28 and my Olympic dream was finally coming true. And then it became even more special because we won the first Olympic medal ever. So it was a pretty special time. Wing with Adelaide Lightning, I just loved it. Jan Stilling was our coach. She just did so well in always getting a team together. Not necessarily a team of stars, but team that clicked and played well together. And we won four premierships in five years. And that was a pretty magical time as well. The WNBA was formed in 1997 and in 1998, six more Aussies were drafted into the WNBA. I was with Sandy Brondello and, and Carla Boyd at Detroit Shock. So I was able to play there for three seasons and it was just a wonderful opportunity to be a true professional athlete. I really like to think that my legacy is that I have inspired the next generation of players because I like to think that I was a role model when I was playing and my parents taught me that it was so important to respect your opponents, your coaches and I like to think that that is how I played the game and that my passion for the game has always shone through.